that's a little nacho. Oh my goodness. Um, named after Nacho Libre, of course. Um, he definitely has orange cat energy. He, like, we're recording, but we okay. can start literally anytime. Okay, well, where do I look? Hi, I'm Naomi. I'm 20. I graduated in 2021, and I work at Sim. Uh, I guess now it's the Formosa group, though. I feel like it definitely was a thing in school where it was like, you have to plan your life at 18. And like, I'm still super young, so it's still like, I have a life ahead of me, but going there and having like a year's program just to say, okay, you can do it. It's gonna be like certain steps. You're gonna have to like do grunt work first, but then you're gonna have like a career. It was super helpful to put it in perspective for me. So I'm a layback operator. Once it, it, everything's done on the stage uh, with the mixers, it comes to us for like final listen through, make sure there's no clicks and pops. Then it goes to QC. And once it passes QC, we just send the deliverables to the distributor and um, it gets put on TV or film or wherever it's going to. I get in and I'll watch a couple shows a couple times for each deliverable and then yeah, we just send them out and that's basically every day. Also lots of backups. We're trying to get our backups done before we move buildings, but yeah. It's a DVD to archive. Lots of copying them over onto our servers. I'm just like a normal nine to five. So it was super weird switching from like school to a nine to five, but I think it was definitely helpful having the long hours there because now I can like just switch if I need to be here longer. I can do that without an issue because like I was in that schedule at OER anyways. We always help the mix assistants. Like we're in constant contact with them based on like what deliverables need to be sent out versus like any volume changes that need to happen to the stems that they give us. Yeah, I was doing project coordination for a little bit where it would be like new clients would email me and I would set them up and schedule them in our system for like ADR or mixing time in the, our studios with our mixers. And I was also doing a little bit location sound for um, one of the upcoming movies we have. Yeah, I got to go on set for Women Talking with Jane actually. Yeah, Jane Tattersall. We're mixing here, so we were like, let's get on set and like actually like get in the environment of this movie. Definitely, like coming from a place where I literally did not touch any sound equipment before I came to OER, I definitely felt coming in here like prepared. Even, even when I was first here, like in school still and training to be able to do laybacks, like I was like, I, I could see and clearly follow what they were doing while they were telling me it. I definitely felt prepared and I'm definitely thankful that I paid attention in class. <laughs> like, I still even look back at my notes. It's definitely helpful to have such a comprehensive course for each industry, I feel like, because I definitely, I definitely felt prepared. I wouldn't be able to do anything here without, like, going to school first. There's nothing here that we haven't touched on at least once in school. Like, at least once. And I had no experience beforehand, so I, I feel like I would not have been prepared at all if I didn't go to oh, OER. Um, location sound. Yeah, Legagio Lab, genuinely helpful for the location sound um, that I did because for parts of it, it was like, Jane would just be like, okay, have the sound recorder. You're wearing this now. I'm gonna go do this, go record me, kind of thing. And it was just like, I need to be able to know how to do this. We've handled so much stuff and actually gone through it and been like, okay, if you're in a certain scenario like this and you have one lab by the end of the semester, I felt confident enough to be able to do it on my own, which like I actually ended up using like right away. All of the teachers were like so personable and like so easy to come to with issues. I felt like it definitely was my ideal education small classroom size with actual working professionals. Like, what more could you ask for? Yeah, I definitely felt like there was a good, like, mentorship. If I was willing to take out of it, they were willing to give. I dropped out of Windsor because I didn't want to be a vocal jazz major. And then I looked up Sound Recording School Ontario. Uh, yeah, I feel like if I definitely didn't just, like, 
take a chance on the school. I would not be where I was. And I think from the outside perspective, I definitely expected it to be like your regular schooling environment. Cause like even with like small schools, in my experience, you still kind of get that like, okay, you're here for education and your marks first, rather than we're here to prepare you for real life. And I definitely felt like it was more like, if you don't try, you won't be prepared for this industry kind of thing. And I definitely appreciated that, that whatever I was willing to put into it was what I was gonna get out of it. Like OER gives you every opportunity to succeed. You just have to take it. I, I thought like immediately learning and then going to tutorials was super helpful because it was just like learning and then like immediate hands-on work. And that was super helpful to like put it in my brain and be like, okay, oh, I didn't understand this in class, but now I can like physically work through it and try and figure out every single kink and problem like by myself and then ask for help if I need it afterwards. Especially since like not everybody is a hands-on learner and not that everybody is a classroom learner. So I think it, it's definitely like a way to get everybody in the same place regardless of how you learn or regardless of how you process things. Magically, I'm at work and working. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm hyped. To say the least, quite hyped. It was like less than halfway through the year, even MV was like, I think you'd be good for this. So that was a part of the appeal of OER. It was, it's such a quick program. Just, just getting time in the studios, like those are great. Yeah, Foley booth my favorite part. Everything Lee was talking about, I was going through at my new job. So it, I was able to like take it firsthand and literally apply it right away, which is good. I've never been good at school and school has always been like a stressful thing for me. You just need to be open to letting, letting the education take you where it will.